Hello everyone, welcome to the channel, Rat here from Ratko Tarot and this is going to be Sagittarius Sun, Sagittarius Moon and Sagittarius Rising Weekly Tarot and Lenormand reading for December 17th to December 23rd, 2018 And uh, while I'm doing the shuffling, um, I want to remind you once again that this is a general reading for Sagittarius star sign Therefore it's going to um, <clears throat> resonate in a different level with every single Sagittarius on this planet and therefore in this video I will explain you the meanings of the cards in the spread and their synergy in it but at the end it uh, kind of falls to you to make sense of them and to align them to your personal situation now if you want your personal situation to be a subject of a, a personal reading uh, you can check out my website there for the services that I'm providing and as well for their pricing and if you go down that road um, don't forget that till the end of the um, of December the prices for the 20 and the 30 minute uh, personal reading with me are reduced are with reduced cost so that set aside uh, going to the tarot spread here we do have the seven of swords first as a uh, topic of your week followed by the nine of cups which is the core of the situation third card that is to be the ace of cups which is uh, the uh, challenges that are causing predicaments and the last one that is going to be the princess of cups or the page of cups so this is going to be as well on an enhanced spread and what i'm going to do in an enhanced spread is add a additional card per position which will serve like a, a catalyst and catalyst is something you take under consideration when you do elemental dignities so we do have the four of swords so what is this combo here represents it's a um a standpoint of oneself or uh, just to give you an example here of how these cards could manifest is that you are uh, you are to realize or kind of like you are to find a um, a different way how you can be much more efficient in either your career or in either your relationship a way through which this time around you can really kind of uh, fulfill your needs and uh, reach the, the means or the results that you require now this way here with the four of swords is going to be achieved through a, a very careful uh, deliberation either with yourself self-examination and in generally contemplating upon how how you are to to reach a, a certain means and the seven of swords here points to the um not recklessness but let's say the ruthlessness of oneself recognizing that actually one's goal has utmost importance so here throughout that week sagittarius we are seeing you being more and more uh, I don't want to say the word stubborn, but let's say, let's say unyielding about uh, your personal affairs and about your personal goals. Taking under complete disregard of what pe other people need and what other people want you to do. Now, throughout this week, you are to start adopting more and more the standpoints uh, of which you will uh, kind of like have the affinity to do only your personal stuff it is because this is what the seven of uh, of sword is i want to show you the card a little bit closer here we do have a man carrying five swords out of the war camp leaving two swords behind so this literally is interpreted as you are uh, kind of like uh, collecting the depths that others or situations are owning you and you are focusing those depths or aka those means because they are means for you from that time moving on forward into your own personal agenda so i can say and conclude with these couple of cards that through careful deliberation and finding the correct approach toward it you are now to redirect to redirect a huge portion of the resources that you are spending into your uh, daily routine either career wise or relationship wise toward a, a personal dream goal or agenda of yours and that will be a, a huge turning point here that is point in the nine of cups but we are going to go there in a second and it is a huge turning point <clears throat> because that is the road toward self-independence or toward independency 
so you are also to break a certain codependency from um, <clears throat> let's say your family from a person that you are working with or from a person that you have business relationships with or from a noxious friend that it is constantly polluting uh, your social environment that will depend uh, differently that will kind of like manifest differently with every single one of you but the important thing with these cards as well it is um, that you kind of like uh, ease your nerves if I may express myself that way because these deliberations and uh, these um, analysis needs to happen under the calmness of mind so if you are frantic about it and especially emotionally affected good results are not going to be achieved so for that purpose if you cannot detach yourself emotionally from the situation it will be very wise if you seek a counsel if you seek an advice for a person who I, I can't stress you that enough who is not affected by the same situation that you are seeking advice for so they can give you a um, objective perspective which is going to help you here to find the way how you can this time around improve your means and uh, <clears throat> you know in generally redirect resources towards your personal agenda the nine of cups here accompanied by the six of wands <clears throat> It does represent the recognition of the necessity once you constantly improve. Now what these cards are pointing that reaching a certain milestone or reaching a certain achievement you are likely to realize that that is not enough. It is not enough any longer and from now on you have to find a way how to improve yourself. Now on a different level these cards may point to a realization that you until this very moment have led a, a foreign war an alien war and now it's time for you to start leading your own battles because you are to realize that no one else is going to and that kind of like um, <clears throat> synergize with the seven of swords pointing to a person leaving up a war camp so that person is abandoning the foreign war you know a foreign agenda and it is moving toward their own personal battle and toward their own personal agenda I'm coming toward leaning toward that interpretation because the milestone here six of wands it is kind of like negating the positive effect of the nine of uh, of the nine of cups and through reaching a certain achievement you are going to realize that that was that is not giving you any exhilaration it's not giving you any glee it is basically not your thing it was someone else's agenda not yours and that's why this week is going to be a huge week where you are going to start thinking mostly for yourself and for the people you love rather than for the benefits and the prosperity of others well just to give you an example here let's say that you are a very good um business consultant and you're working for a huge company all right and you're consulting them about business affairs and uh, <clears throat> they are from that particular uh, perspective they are making the big money while to you they are giving you scraps and letting you salvage whatever is left and if that's the case this week you are to realize that you would have been much better on your own and from that perspective you can start establishing your own personal company for business for business advisors or for business advices in general so here we are again seeing a, a way of detachment one detach itself from a certain strings and from something that it is just draining you from benefits more toward a, an agenda which is going to give you the full benefits down in in a plaza as uh, as long as you are you have that determination to move into this specific direction the third card that we do have this is going to be the ace of cups and that is the challenges which are causing predicaments the card that accompanies it that will be the hierophant card so what these couple of cards are representing is that every beginning is difficult all right and that liberation of codependency with someone is gonna have or with something for that matter 
now that I'm thinking that could be, you know, uh, a withdrawal symptoms where, you know, you are seeking therapeutic help here because the Four of Swords could represent also that, all right, and withdrawing yourself from a certain um, substances or from a certain uh, love situation as well. That could be also because love is a drug. I have made my point back in the day about love. But anyway, <clears throat> So this card here points that every, these cards are pointing that every beginning is difficult. And no matter how calculative you are about it, there will be always something to surprise you. There will be always something that will catch you unprepared. But that should not be a reason why you should leave or why you should abandon your agenda. Uh, these cards also point that you are not going to see results immediately. And that is additionally something that is going to cause predicament or is going to make you think that actually what you're doing is futile that is because the benefits from one's work or the benefits from this new agenda marked by the predicaments of the hierophant they come kind of bit later after the efforts are incorporated into those um, into those uh, enterprises or into that uh, into this uh, agenda the ace of cups here as a predicament it unfortunately does point that you cannot rely on your luck or you cannot rely on um, fortunate circumstances that are going to solve the day they, these cards are pointing that if you want things to unfold positively for you, you have to make it happen that way. And how you can make it happen? By not straining or not kind of uh, like working for the benefits themselves, but working for the idea itself. Now with the Hierophant, if you do work with the, for the idea itself, disregarding how big benefits you are going to have for, from it, then these benefits are to find you on their own. I mean, there will be a, a peripheral circumstances which are going to be a, um, I don't know the English word here, but let's say a, a collateral benefits from the accomplishment of this goal of yours, of the newfound goal of yours here after the detachment of the codependency, realizing that this war that you have fought until this very moment, it was not your war. <clears throat> Now one more thing I want to say in regards to this synergy over here, right? And that further contribute contributes to uh, to my interpretation that reaching a, a certain milestone of one's unfoldment it is not nearly enough and these cards are pointing that one needs to mature about a certain achieve about how achievements are basically systemized and one needs to recognize that life is constant struggle and one needs to recognize that after one achievement another one can be established all right so one can always improve and these cards are pointing that this this is going to be a week where you are to find that to be very true and even if you thought you reached the very maximum of yourself just like the, the nine of cups kind of like uh, suggests you are to recognize that you can achieve even a, a bit more which is going to be another milestone and then a bit more on top of it which is going to be again another milestone and etc etc until you actually double your performance or or double the positive aspect of your performance and at the end what we do have this is going to be the princess of cups or in other words the page of cups followed by the two of swords so what these cards here are pointing is that you should be very careful what kind of a standpoints or what kind of a positions you take after the deliberation here or the liberation excuse me uh, here takes place so these cards are pointing that your standpoints should not be uh, warmongering you should not be aggressive even toward the people who recently used you for their personal goals and for their personal means either relationship wise or either career wise now you have to entirely focus on your well-being not to give a retribution and not to make someone else feel miserable just because you know they kind of like mm, let's say spared an information from you and 
that way they have manipulate, manipulated you to uh, actually work in their benefit. These cards here are pointing that you should adopt a very balanced standpoint, right? Something like a bridge. This is how the Two of Swords lingers. And the more the Two of Swords takes place, the balanced standpoint where you are restraining yourself from involving, it, for, from involving yourself into conflicts and into dramas and into dilemmas, but instead that, you know adopting a, a very uh, how can I place a neutral position here <clears throat> the more the page of cups uh, uh, kind of like uh, getting colder and, and colder and when the page of cups is getting colder and colder then um, you will have much more clear perspective upon the grand scheme of things and upon the bigger picture of life and it will be much more easier for you to um, to kind of swap positions toward whatever direction the winds blow so here we do have something like a chess um, uh, like a chess game in which you have the queen piece and you can move whatever you want and it will be shame if you if you kind of contribute for your own checkmate. So you you have to be wise how you play your pieces and how you play your cards. With these cards here, you have to be a little bit more sneaky. You have to be a little bit more uh, uh, surreptitious about your standpoints, not uncovering everything that you do think, and adopt different positions according to which one is in power around you so literally that was the uh, because you know which one is in power because as I said every beginning is, is uh, difficult and if you can use someone uh, or someone else's means just like they used you in the past here it will be much more easier for you so that being said uh, we are going to the Lenormand card reading now which is going to show us a uh, event that uh, you should either look forward to or uh, try to avoid. So, what we have, the first card that we do have, this is going to be the book. And the book stands for secret, it stands for documents, it also can stand for information. The next one, this is going to be the mountain. The mountain stands as a delays, predicaments or a, a different route. And the last one, this is going to be the bear. And the bear stands for headstrong. It stands for support. It stands for a, a resources and also stands for, um, for motherhood sometimes. But just sometimes. So what we do have here with these cards is we do have a, a new information of how to bypass predicaments here so you can adopt, so you can obtain either a, a support, just like I said here, you know, obtaining uh, or adopting a, a balanced standpoint and uh, swapping your positions according to whom is in power or who is in power around you with your situation so you can use their resources this is what these cards are meaning and and it will kind of like a, it will be very important to instantly recognize from where the wind of change is blowing and for, from where the wind of the wind of power is blowing additionally these cards could point a obtaining a an information or a secret which allows you to uh, bypass a certain rules in order to further your agenda if we take that card as a headstrong someone that literally moves in whatever direction they want and this information will allow you you know to uh, predict and overcome predicaments without uh, before they even appear so a, a very good and positive event it is what you do have the very least you are to receive support and resources from people or situations without these situations and people naturally be aff affectionate to give you those resources but your brilliant maneuvers and your clever mind is going to work those resources and support out. 
So that being said, Sagittarius, this was your weekly Tarot and Lenormand reading. And once again, this was just a general reading for you guys. And uh, therefore, these cards will resonate in a different level with every single one of you. What I did here is explaining you as best as I can the meanings of them and their synergy in the spread. But at the end, as I said, it forced you to make sense of them and to align them to your personal situation. Now, if you want me specifically to draw, to draw cards and to make sense of them for your personal situation, that will be a matter of a private reading. And for private readings, please check out my website, which is listed down below in the description of this video. And there you can find a full list of my services as well as their pricing. And if you do so, don't forget that the 20 minutes live reading with me and 30 minutes live reading with me are with reduced prices for the duration of uh, December. Rod signing out now. See you next time. Bye.